Welcome to the channel guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I'm gonna be doing a video that's a little bit differently, I mean different than what you guys are used to. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to blur out a license plate. Now, why would anyone want to blur out a license plate? Well, that's because not everyone likes the world knowing what kind of model citizen they are. So, I have a friend over here, let's just call him Homer. Homer reached out to me, he said, hey look, where's 981? I want you to blur out my license plate. So, the world does not know what kind of model citizen I am. So, just to give you a, a quick little peek of what kind of citizen this man is. Uh, let's just roll the clip. So, clearly... You don't, you don't want people finding out what you want. It's just, just the amount of blunt they're going to show you for doing this is just insane. So, if I was to, let's say, zoom in, uh, do 100% zoom right here, I would be able to figure out his license plate. So, what is that? E8, X4. I'm just going to cut to the end where his license plate shows completely. Yeah, so it's F864DG. Alright, so this Q50 right here, guy's not saying. You guys should go find this man. But I'm just saying. You don't want that license plate showing. So, what do you want to do? You want to blur it out. So, first things first. What I like to do is I like to segment. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to segment out the last section. And only blur out the last section. Because if I did the whole thing, you guys would be here forever. So, first things first. I'm just going to hit Control K. What that does is it splits the clip in the timeline. So then I'm going to go over here to the effects panel, and now that we're here, we're going to search in our effects, we're going to search Gaussian Blur. Drag the blur onto the timeline, onto the video clip, and once it's there, it should pop up in the left panel right here. Where am I? Alright, there we go. So there's Gaussian Blur right there. So, if you were to move this slider right here, it would blur the entire clip, which kind of defeats the purpose. You want people to see the, uh, the outstanding, uh, citizen driving skills, whatever, over here. So, what do you want? Well, I like, I don't really like using the square just because of the, the, I mean, not the square and the rectangle, I feel geometry, my bad. But I like using the, um, the eclipse, the ellipse, circle. Let's just call it a circle. So... Bring the circle back in here, and yeah, I don't like using the rectangle, so we are going to basically size this to the, uh, the license plate, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the blurriness up. Now, once you do this, I usually like, uh, it depends on the clip, but 15 looks about right right here, so once, uh, once it's blurry, what you want to do is go around here and it says mask path what this does is it toggles an animation and it lets you add keyframes as it goes so i'm going to toggle that and this is how you can skip a frame forward so you do one two three and then as you can see the car moved now you just move the mask then you do the same thing one two three one click four times and you do this this is a very tedious process it's very painful and time consuming so, you wouldn't want to do this, but it gets the job done, alright? So, I, I'll play the video, oh, it's moving away, there you go, play the video, it's moving away, and you honestly just gotta keep doing this, and every time it, you know, it moves, oh, well, the, the vehicle moves, you need to move the mask with it. I hope I'm making sense over here. Eventually, what you'll get is towards the end, let's just, uh, let's just make the mask bigger for time's sake. I'm doing a very, very shitty job at moving the mask because, you know, I don't want the video to take forever. But you can kind of see, you know, the, um, how the workflow works. So, yeah. At the end, like I said, it's, it's, it's not the cleanest job right now. Oh, there we go. But, yeah, there we go. So, if we was to go cut back to that video, you can see the mask pops up, and it does a pretty good job at covering Homer's plate. However, 
if you don't want to do that, there is an easier way to do this. So what, 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 what God damn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the mask right now. So just hit clear and you can see it, the, the whole thing blurs up. So we bring this back to zero. We go back to the circle and um, we simply size it to his, you know, the shape of the plate again. Once it's there, we bring that back to blurring us up, and you hit the, the stopwatch again, but this time you hit the, um, the toggle animation right here. I mean, the play animation or whatever. And once you hit that, the computer, depending on how good your computer is, it will use artificial intelligence to track the plate by itself. Now, it usually works really well for faces, for license plates. My luck is kind of terrible, so... It really doesn't work, but let's see if it works right now. There you go. And wow, it did a pretty good job of tracking the plate. But yeah, that's basically how you blur out license plates in Premiere Pro. I mean, Premiere Pro. I like using Gaussian Blur. I think there, there's something else, another effect called Mosaic. But, um... Thank you guys for watching the video, and I hope you guys learned something. Remember kids, do not break the law, it is it's bad for you.